Hello, everybody. It's me, Tracy, again with another DIY. I'm doing a diva reef, a, a diva canvas board part two. Diva reef canvas board part two. Well, picture frame, picture frame diva reef part two. Let's put it that way. So, I would like everybody to like and subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that can, you can get notifications for all the other videos that I have already uploaded. Um, the Facebook group is Crafting Together as One. Sign up for the Crafting Together. Sign up for the group. Post your links to your channels, your business. You know, put your stuff out there. Um, learn from each other. You have to be a subscriber to get the pictures. So when you inbox me for Messenger, make sure you let me know that you subscribe to my channel for me to give you the pictures for you to do this Diva Reef or any other Diva Reef that's in my group. So let's get started. The canvas board right here I got from Michaels. It's a 16 by 20. Six. It's a 16 by 20. So you get these from Michaels. You get a five-pack set, 16 by 20. So we're going to start with that. Then we're going to order online from Amazon photo inserts. Frame. You know, photo frame inserts. You can get them Amazon. You get 25 in a pack. It costs $60. You might can find this size without buying the other parts to it, but I haven't found it. But the link will be below in the description. So what we're going to do, we're going to glue this down to this frame to get started. So get your E6000 and you're going to glue. And we're going to glue, 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 glue. All this frame, glue everything down, glue everything down. Make sure you get closer to the closer to these boards right here, these edges, because you want all that to be done. And then you're gonna turn it over and put it on top. Make sure it's nice and secure. Put it on top. So now that you have it all glued down, this is what it this is what it looks like, all glued down. So the next step is to take some bling and we're gonna cut we're gonna go five one two three four five so you're gonna cut this bling out in five because that's what we're using well that's what I'm using so I guess if I'm using it five then y'all will use five too so we're gonna cut all these blings up in five okay we're gonna After you cut some, after you cut all these, your long strips in fives, then we're going to cut some strips in twos because we're going to need some twos. So you see, two, two, two strip. We're going to need two. So we're going to cut some of these and cut a few of those. And then we'll tell you what's next. All right. So now that all our pieces is It's all cut out, and you see our insert, our insert, we already glued the insert down. The insert is glued down, so it leaves this, this nice edging around here, the insert. So now we're going to place our bling where it needs to be. And people, be patient when it comes to this part, because you don't want sloppy. So you're going to put... You're going to place one piece here at the bottom. You're going to measure it off. And you're going to cut it. So that's your piece. That's your piece going to go across the top right there. Then you got another piece. You need to measure off for this side. 
because you want to be even all the way around. So this one's going to go here. And now we're going to turn it around because we need to put a piece on top, a piece here. So we're going to measure this, the space in between. And you're going to cut that. And no, I don't, I'm not counting all of them to let y'all know exactly how many. Use the measurements of your square. Lay everything down where you want it to be. Glue it down, E6000 or whatever, whatever glue you prefer. Glue it down. So we're about to add another piece down here to the bottom. And we're going to um, cut that. So glue all your pieces down here to glue all your pieces nice and straight. That's what you need to do. So now I got my twos. So now this is the next part we got to do. We're going to turn this back around again. Because I'm not going to glue it down. But y'all have to glue yours down. Mine's is already done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the crease of this board, the inserts. The inserts, I'm going to go in the inserts. Picture frame inserts. I'm sure y'all seen them in, in, in stuff when y'all go buy photos. Y'all have these inserts in there. So cut enough. Cut your pieces to go in all four spaces. Okay? And when you finish cutting all your pieces, this is what it should look like. You got your edge in here, nice and neat. I made sure I did it nice and neat. All the way around, nice and neat, nice and neat. So you can use any Diva Girl that you like. And you don't have to have a wide format printer for this. So I'm going to be using this pretty lady right here. And I print it out on my regular printer on car stock, um, car stock paper. 80 pound car stock paper. I put in my printer and I printed her out. So this is the one I'm going to be using. So I'm going to lay her here and get my glue together. So I got my printed picture out. You see it's small. You don't need a large wide format printer you don't need to go out and buy one if you do this style of picture frame you don't need all that other stuff so i'm going to place her here in the middle and i'm going to put some glue on her glue her down to the canvas board see this is the back of the canvas board what you get from michael's so it's got a nice canvas on it so we're just using the top part of that canvas to create the, the surface that we need. So I'm going to glue, put some glue on her and get her ready to stick to the board. You don't have to use a whole lot of glue, but you need enough to make her stay down. I'm using, I kept my table black. I didn't cover it with the paper this time because I want you to be able to see everything because most of the stuff I'm using is white. All right, so I'm going to glue glue her down to the middle of the board. I'm going to try to get her to stick to this canvas. But be patient. With these parts, you got to be patient. So a little Mod Podge. Glue her down. Just, you know, rub her nicely. Make sure she all the way done properly. You don't want her to come up. Because there's always going to be some parts where you might have to add a little bit extra glue. And if you put too much glue on the board, I mean, you won't see it anyway because the board is white. Unless you decide to paint your board or add another color behind it. All right, so there she go. She got some some more pieces that that's lifting, and I don't want no lifting 
pieces. So I'm just going to put this glue in here and put it down. Nobody going to see that anyway. You can wipe it with your hand. It's a canvas board, so it's easy to wipe off. So make sure she's secured down because you don't want her peeling apart. All right, she looked like she was in place. So I took some some glitter paper, some glitter. I took some glitter paper, some cardstock. So I, I printed two of her out. And then I made some templates that I want to use on her to add on her clothing. And instead of using glitter, I'm going to use this instead. So this is going to go right here on her body. So I'm going to glue that down. onto her body you can you can dress her up the way you want i even add i added some rhinestones on it see the bling i add these little shiny little bling things on top and i'm going to place that here on top give it a second and hold it because you want it all to stick and stay in place So, of course, if I'm going to be using red for her shoulder, I'm going to use red for her hair. Now, I did the same thing. I took some glitter cardstock and I add some bling around this little edging right here, a little bit of bling I add around here. And that's going to go on her headpiece. Cause we want to cover that up so i'm going to add some glue on that and you can do yours the, the way you like you don't have to add bling or you can cut out the shape on the cars on the glitter cardstock and then you can um basically add gems on the whole thing or come up with some other fancy idea of, of how to do it on your own all right so but to get the to get two of them the same, you have to make two of the girls and then cut out her head and then cut out the paper in order to get the shape that you want. Got some glue on there. So I'm going to glue her here. And it still leaves. Make sure she's stuck down. A little bit of glue will dry up. So now all her her baby hairs is still hanging out. I might go over it and add some more under there, depending on what it looks like when it, when I stand it up and look at it. All right, so that's this part. So I got me some some feathers. Some ostrich feathers I got from Joanne Fabrics. Don't, if you want to go out and buy it, go out and buy it. It's very expensive, but I got a 30% discount. So that's the only way, uh, reason why I bought this ostrich feather. I'm sure you can find some on Amazon. So what I'm going to do, I'll just look at where I want to put her here. And I'll add some glue. Put some glue down here in the shape of where I want to put the ostrich feathers. All right, so I'm just going to stick this here, still leaving some of that around her bling and glitter will poke through there. And you can still see it. So I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to add it at the bottom because I want her to look very full and pretty. So I'm just going to, it's not hard to move these feathers. So I'm just going to add a nice little dripping of glue just along the bottom to add the next layer 
of this ostrich feather, which is very pretty. And I want the longer pieces to hang at the bottom so it can hang off the frame. So that's that part. So that's all glue down. If you figure, if you see that you got some spots missing, just add some glue to it. Just be mindful if you're using this feathers and stuff. You can't be getting glue everywhere. Just please like and subscribe to my channel, y'all. For all these nice DIYs. Don't she look pretty so far? <laughs> All right, so the next part, you can use your mesh. You can use mesh. You can use tool. You can use flowers. You can use pretty much whatever you like to put on top of her head. If you're going to use mesh, use a um, cake pan board or use the um, round foam board to create what you want to put on top of it here because remember this is a flat surface so i have some flowers here and i'm going to place my flowers where i want them on her head because i want them to be leaning and on her eye and then i'm going to put one here but i still want that red to show under there because we're going to make this look like a hat Make it look like that. Y'all like that one? And then I got a smaller one that I'm just going to stick up here in the corner. Bunch it all together so she can look nice. So now that I know where I want to put them at, let's glue it down. Taking that little stem off. Put some glue on this stem part. And place it where I want. Because I want some of that sexy red to hang out under the body. So that's one. That's glue. There. Let's go to this side. I think I'm going to put it right here. Because I want it to look like she got the head wrap on. Let me go bite the stem off. Let me put some glue on here. So that one's going to go here. So you got a little peekaboo gem thing going on under there. And for the last piece, I'm going to stick it up in here in the top. You know, creating a a nice shape for her hat. And she look like she got a hat on. Then I have I'm gonna take some of these little red flowers and just put them in there where I want them. I don't know if I'm gonna glue it down because I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, but I think the red flowers are cute. Put them in there. Put some in here. So I'm gonna get my my stick, my um, gel stick, I think my wax pen, and then I'm going to create some earrings. I'm going to draw with the pencil where I want to put the shape of her earrings at because this, this diva has earrings. So I'm going to put some on here and then I'll be right back. So I got these wax pens. The link will be down below. For the wax pens, you can order them from Amazon from my link. And it comes in a four pack. A nice four pack. And the piece at the bottom screws in so that you can pretty much use it again. If it go, if you get glue on it, just rub your hand on the wax part. And then I ordered these beads, these nice sets of little beads that come. That I'm going to be using to create her earrings. So I'm not going to make them too small. I don't want to be all day with this. But I'm sure y'all get the idea. So you can. So I took a pencil. 
and I draw the line right here for where I want to put her earrings at. And, and it's so easy that I'm using B7000 Clear. This is a 3.7 flow ounces. The description will be at the link down the bottom from Amazon. You can order these. This has a precise tip on it, a nice tip on it, and it has a tip on the top. So when you finish, you just put it back in there and then it push back the glue. And it's plastic, so it's not the metal E6000 where you squeeze and it's going to keep coming out and waste your money. So that's what I'm ordering. So I'm going to get these feathers out the way and I'm going to turn this sideways. And then I'll be back. And and look how precise it is. You just you just tap it. Where you want to put it. You put the top back in it. In that little hole. And you twist it. And you don't have to worry about it. And with the wax pens, make it so easy. Because all you have to do is, is tap it. And stick it where you want it. That's it. There's no overspills or anything. Everything is intact. The glue is not everywhere. It's, it's in a precise space where it be. And um, we just take your time, you know, relaxing. This is relaxing, you know, just putting these beads on here. One by one. There's no... You wouldn't be able to do this with the E6000. I'm glad somebody came up with it. And this will be good if you want to do shoes and sneakers and stuff too. You'll be able to do all those things with this. With a pen and something like that to hold it in place. So, don't forget, I use the canvas board. I use the picture frame inserts. Created it with the bling around the edges. The Diva is 12 and 12, 12 by 12. You can use the whole 12 by 12. So, I'm going to continue to put these on. And I'll be back to show y'all the finished product. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, share, show your friends, you know. Wait a minute, I forgot my little red flowers. I'm going to be, these little red buds, I'm going to stick them up in there because I want them in her head. You know, got to bring some of that red up and then I'm going to do her lips. Add some color or something to her lips. Make her pop. So, like, subscribe. Here she looking so far. She looking so pretty. I'll I have some picture frame hooks for the back. I'll leave them in the description as well, so that you can get those. But isn't this pretty? All right, I'll be back when I'm done. So everybody, I'm almost done. This video, I'm just putting on her. I use a pencil and draw where I want to put the earrings out because the earrings. That comes with the picture is very thin so it's hard to cut out so for her picture you just i draw it on with a pencil and i'm using that glue like i said with that point on it to create that perfect line for to put the bling down and i'm using this pen Wax pen. They come in a four pack set. I think it's like ten dollars. The the place the stones where I need to be, and you can also use it for your cups and your mugs and your other crafting projects. It's a lifesaver because you know you can't pick these things up with your hand. So she's finished. I'm gonna add her a little lipstick. What y'all think? 
She's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. She's pretty, pretty, pretty. So y'all can do yours the way y'all like yours. Fix it up the way she want. Make her pretty. Look at that. My girl is pretty. All right. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Stay tuned for some other ones.